it is really hard to get a Roblox hat deleted. There are some hats that blatantly break the rules or copyright law, and they're allowed on the site. So it makes you wonder, how bad does a Roblox item have to be to get removed? Well, really bad. I researched to find some deleted hats, and they are way worse than I thought. Some of these are so awful that I have to censor them for the video. But let's start with some more tame deleted Roblox hats, like the blue futuristic gaming headphone. Singular, there is one headphone. Now, you may be thinking, what's so bad about this hat? I mean, it's just a pair of headphones. I'm wearing one of those right now. Well, the 3D model used for this item, they stole the mesh from this guy, Lucio Overwatch. Overwatch is an FPS video game, and they just straight up stole the model from it. So Roblox deleted it for obvious reasons. But this next one is a little more confusing. This is the Sinister TV, a Roblox hat by JBug based off of this guy, Pyrocynical, who's a YouTuber. Look, it's literally his profile picture. So when Pyrocynical saw it, he was happy about it. He, he was totally fine with it. But when his management team saw it, they were not happy with it. So instead of looking like this, it now looks like this because they told Roblox to take it down. But this next one was deleted by Roblox by themselves. These are the Silver Antlers, a UGC item created by Arethia. Now, obviously these look fine, but there's also another item that looks fine and is also called the exact same thing and costs a lot of money. Just for reference, this is the official Roblox item. These are the Silver Antlers. They have the same exact name, and I think it's pretty clear why Roblox deleted them. Though, interesting fact about these ones, it was replaced by Candy Corn Antlers. It actually got replaced with new ones. So hey, the antlers are still alive in our hearts. But this next one is definitely not. This is just a sign that says, okay, boomer. How could you possibly go wrong with this? Well, this is an official Roblox sign that they made next to the okay, boomer sign. Now, if you whip out your magnifying glass and look very closely, you can tell these are the exact same thing. <laughs> so although it's unknown why this was taken down, it's safe to assume that's why. Because I mean, he kind of stole a Roblox asset to use for profit. But this next one definitely stole something to use for profit. This is the Row Star hat. Now, if you do a little bit of anime watching, you may notice this is the exact same hat that this incredibly buff man is wearing from an anime called JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. So when an average Roblox user pumps out this hat, that's the exact same as a normal anime hat, the copyright holder gets upset and asks politely for Roblox to take it down, which is what they did. Of course, nowadays, there's thousands of copyright right infringing Roblox items that just don't get taken down because Roblox stopped caring. But here's one that would have gotten taken down today too. These are Megan Play's pink pom-poms. Not to be confused with a new released copy of the same name. Basically, when Megan Play's uploaded these, she looked like this. But about three seconds later, she looked like this. Sad, because she realized she messed up. And back in the day, you couldn't just take an item off sale and then do it again. She had to ask Roblox to delete the hat themselves. This hat, the pom-poms. But thankfully, she got it all sorted out and released a new one. And hey, look, my friend Polar Cubs textured this. But this next one was not deleted by choice. This is the cheeseburger mobile. Well, this is a content deleted image, but this is the cheeseburger mobile. A Roblox hat that looks like a cheeseburger. You know what else it looks like? This, a SpongeBob burger car from the SpongeBob movie. So when the guys who made SpongeBob saw this, they were not very happy. And although we don't know exactly why this accessory got deleted, it's likely for copyright reasons. But this next one is definitely not for copyright reasons. I wish it was for copyright reasons. This is the one that I said that I had to censor. But before I talk about it, subscribe. I like to ask around the middle of the video because by now you know if you want to subscribe or not. And I'm not gonna beg you like other YouTubers, just do it if you want to. Now, I'm gonna take a little riskier and not censor this because I don't think it's bad on its own. But this is the Forbidden Shark Head. A Roblox hat made by Guest Capone of a certain character that is not good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just looked it up. I regret it. But yes, this was a character that relates to a lot of naked things. If that's the best I can do without getting demonetized. And so naturally it got deleted and the creator, Guess Capone, claimed that he was unaware of the character's inappropriate origins despite it being named the Forbidden Shark, which kind of implies he was aware. But enough about that. Let's get to a more
more lighthearted one. These are the cute mini pigtails and chopped bangs. I have no clue why these were deleted, but they were deleted by Roblox. The wiki says it is currently content deleted for copyright reasons, which by the way, thank you, Roblox wiki. They are carrying this entire video. But what copyright? The girl from Squid Game? That's the only thing I can think of genuinely. So in my eyes, it's pretty dumb this got deleted. It's a hair. Come on. But the next one is not dumb that it got deleted. This is the jokes mask. It was deleted because it looks too similar to this mask. Almost an exact rip, actually. And this mask is from something called the Joker movie. So yeah, there's obvious copyright infringement there, but it doesn't end yet. After this one got deleted, the creator tried to make another one. And instead of looking like this, it looked like this. Which I'll hand it to him is a slight improvement, but it still got taken down for copyright reasons. So, <laughs> oops. But this next one was not taken down for copyright reasons. This is the imaginary vampire epic orb buddy. A UGC hat by Mathep. Someone whose main gimmick on the catalog is just ripping things and uploading them. Although, they are pretty awesome ripped things. Like the troll face, I want to wear that. But anyways, does it come to a shock to you that this hat is just ripped from something called the epic face? So Roblox deleted it because the epic face is kind of their thing. This is a classic Roblox face right here. But this next one is a bit of a callback to one we already visited. Check it out, the gold antlers. I'll give you three guesses as to why this was deleted. Hint, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> These are the Roblox golden antlers, and these are their golden antlers by the same exact name, which they realized, to be fair, and renamed it to gold antlers. Like, that makes a difference. You removed two letters. So yeah, Roblox removed it, and these ones were replaced by the bubblegum antlers, which I like. I'm fine with those. Better than the blatant ripoff. <laughs> but this next one brings blatant ripoff to a whole new level. This is the golden parrot. Quite literally, the first stolen Roblox UGC, but definitely not the last. See, the mesh for this item was directly stolen from this item. Quite literally the same exact thing with yellow instead of a detailed texture. It's just yellow. That's all it is. So it has appropriately been given the nickname Piss Bird because of course it was. But this next one is a one of a time thing that has never happened before. And I actually learned this from a YouTuber named Shark Blocks. Big shout out to him. These are the gobble gobble googly eyes. An actual limited uploaded by Roblox. But what if I told you they were first uploaded by the official Roblox NFL group they had for an event. Yeah, they accidentally uploaded this limited on the wrong account. Naturally, they had to delete this this silly little guy and re-upload it on the actual Roblox account. This next one though was definitely not a mistake. Look at these glasses. Do they remind you of anything? If your answer is these glasses, ding, 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 you're correct. Yeah, these glasses are eerily similar to the original clockwork shades. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding there. So naturally Roblox's first course of action was to delete them immediately. But the next deleted hat is even more obvious. This is the ultimate cookie hood, which I mean, come on, this is the dominant this is the ultimate cookie hood. I mean, same shape, same form. The guy who made it didn't even deny that it looked like the Dominus. I mean, it's pretty clear. So it's obvious Roblox deleted it for copyright reasons. Just kidding, it was because it was too similar to this. This next one was deleted for even more obvious reasons. These headphones, quite literally called Apple headphones. I mean... No, I don't, I don't see any resemblance. So the big bad evil guys at Apple said, we don't want someone making money off of our name. And so they were deleted by Roblox almost immediately, which is kind of lame because I want Apple headphones. This is the only way that I'll be able to afford AirPods, man. This last UGC is the most mysterious of all though. This is the adult disguise. It was uploaded to Roblox and then it was deleted from Roblox. The creator doesn't know why it was deleted. Nobody knows why it was deleted. It was just meant to look like the classic two kids stacked on top of each other in a trench coat, which it does, and I think it's funny, but for some reason, Roblox was not having that, so they deleted it. And what have we learned from this video? Roblox has really gone downhill. Back in the day, a random guy who didn't know what he was doing any bad could get his hat deleted for no reason because the rules were so strict. Nowadays, I can literally go to the avatar shop, sort by recently updated, scroll for approximately three seconds, and find multiple hats that break the rules. 
skills that Roblox is just doing nothing about. This one is literally Andrew Tate. So yeah, in the old days, this guy got punished for no reason. And in the new days, this guy who should get punished gets away scot-free. Is there not like an in-between there? Can we not meet somewhere in the middle to punish people who deserve it and then don't punish people who don't? Roblox is literally in legal trouble because of something like this. Because the Friday Night Funkin' devs are sick of people copying their game on Roblox, even the hats. So I just hope they improve one day. But while they're not, remember to buy all these hats against the rules. Go, 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 go.